Hello and welcome back to Thronebreaker. Last time we managed to dodge some boulders and uh, we're still looking for some peasants uh, to join their cause and uh, most importantly get our money back because there's nothing motivates me more than uh, getting my money back or just getting some gold in general. Hmm. Yeah, you wouldn't think that uh, a ruler would uh, have to do uh, so much uh, by herself in this case, but uh, that is exactly the case, ruling an empire. A peasant cart loaded with a heap of hay came rattling down the road from the opposite direction. Clear the road! bellowed Count Corwell, standing in his stirrups. Make way for your queen! The peasants obediently turned their cart into the roadside nettles. As she passed, Meave glanced towards it and froze. Atop the hay bale lay a badly wounded man gripped by fever. The thick, sweet stench of rot wafted from his bandaged legs. Gods, who did this to him? Meave asked. Bandits? Nay, nee, milady, replied the cartman. T'were a beast. A beast, you say? Also, Coldwell, we might just have to let you go. You're just a jerk to everybody. Out to the east, down Wetterton Way, lies a boneyard, old as the elves, they say. The peasant continued. Cletum was setting snares round about there. Came running back to us, drenched in blood, rattling on about a long-haired wench come climbing out a grave. Who's taken him to the good sisters of Melitale here on bridge? Perhaps they can help him. I'm certain they can. And will, replied the queen. Though just looking at the wounded wretch, she knew he'd expire before nightfall. God speed you on your journey. Oh, the boy. queen whistled, and her mare resumed its trot. Shall I send for a witcher, your grace? Caldwell asked. One of those freaks should make short work of the monster. Until we apprehend the bandits, I shan't allow a single soul to leave our company. Even on such an important mission as finding a witcher. Meave replied. Any who did would be captured at once. But, if fate brings us near Wetterton, perhaps we'll see to this monstrous Harridan ourselves. Your Grace, we've only just fought beasts and scarcely escaped with our lives. This she-beast will take a silver sword. Magic formulae. Yet a dozen arbalists will have to suffice, the Queen said, calmly but firmly. And please, Caldwell, do stiffen your spine a bit. Now onward. Yeah, that's right, Caldwell. Here ends the main part of the tutorial. From now on, you're on your own. Good luck. Please, thank you. Oh my god. Finally, no more tutorial. Okay, we're good. Uh, yeah, that's another fast travel point. I'm not sure if I have to click on it, but we're clicking on it. What's up, peasant? Oh, stuff on the ground. I hear ruckus nearby. Can I just steal some chickens and cows and, uh... <laughs> Just the folk of beyond shite. Off to Wetterton, are ye? Bonnie, turn that. Just the folk of beyond shite. Okay, let's open the map. Hmm. Yeah, that's the main... Uh, I don't know, main quest, probably. Oh, look at that. Okay. <clears throat> My lady, the locals claim a treasure is hidden within the cave. We can send a small detachment to learn what uh, truth uh, there is to the rumor. I must admit, at first glance it appears uh, rather treacherous. I can't guarantee every uh, one will return in one piece, if at all. <laughs> okay, this is more like a strategy game style. That you know the outcome of the choices. If we didn't have... I think it would be a good option to have to not see the outcome of your choices. Because we know that we're gonna sacrifice two soldiers and we're gonna get 200 gold. But... If we didn't have that information, it would be... 
not really about math. Like, do I really want to spend two helmets for 200 gold? But yeah, we're going to be adventurous this time. Is that it? We just we just got it. Yeah, it's like n nothing uh, other than that. No follow up. Uh oh. Our blasts have to suffice. The Lyrians entered the graveyard. Crickets chirped in its tall, windswept grass, and lush green moss covered its crumbling gravestones. Only a fresh bloodstain upon a mausoleum wall suggested that something disturbed the dead in their rest and hunted the living. Save your tears, throw off your grief. An eerie voice sang, its ghastly lament standing Meave's hair on end. Soon your life too shall see. As you pass Stop. into the eternal glow. A pockmarked, pustule-ridden creature crawled out from behind some gravestones. It vaguely resembled a shriveled, hunchbacked hag, until its head split into two halves, forming a tooth-spiked maw. Attack! Everyone! That's not much of a plan, is it? Uh, Wonder Woman, huh? Attack everyone. I like that she keeps like a hand just for high fives. You can even high five yourself. That's pretty nice. Uh, I don't uh, <laughs> envy the the voice actor. Uh, trying to voice lines like this. Save your tears. Throw off your grief. It's just, just so annoying. If especially if it's just very long. Anyway, let's take this one out. Get the grave hack? No problem. Oh, it's a puzzle? They could just uh, replace the puzzle with not fun. I don't know. Oh, short and battle. Oh, what is that? Spawn a base copy of this unit. That fish damage all units on this row by four. Okay. What is that? Every two turns and third start destroy the lowest units. Sure. Damage unit by the number of cards. So this is pretty simple. We're gonna play. Dude number one. I. Then we're gonna play dude number two. Ah, should have listened to me, old lady. Wait, what? Oh. Okay, maybe not as simple. Uh that's that's a very bad description. Oh, oh, I see, I see, I see. Ne never mind that. That's actually a good description. I was just dumb. Can we re restart it? Restart it. That's actually a better description than I thought. So, damage all units on this row by four. So, if we manage to make sure that the grave hag kills one of them. Then they all gonna go to four, and at that point we don't have to worry about it anymore. And the only way we can do that, yeah, like playing a dude plus an uh, arbalest is not enough because that only drops to six. So it's gotta be arbalest plus arbalest, dropping one to five. Plus we're not gonna have a five. One bolt's all I need. So that's what we're doing. Give me a target. Then at the end, I need to play an extra Arbalest from the deck, I imagine.
There's a time to reap, a time to sow, and a time to die. I. Now that should kill that. I'm gonna drop the grave hag down to a four. Oh no, never mind that. Actually, that just works. Never mind that. What? What was that filth? The queen croaked hoarsely as the dying monster writhed in agony at her feet. I know not, your grace, replied Reynard. But to be safe, I would have the corpse chopped up and burned. Elsewise, we will not be certain it shall not return. Yes, have it done, Meave said, brushing her hair from her beaded brow. But quickly, lest dust catch us in this foul place. The Lyrians soon resumed their march. As they left the cemetery behind them, some believed they still heard the haunting dirge upon the air. Or was it just the wind whistling past mossy tombstones? Oh, this card has been added to your army and can be found in the command tent. Now, this would be a good time to actually uh, have the description here, uh, but we don't know. God damn it. In the command tent, you can change Maeve's equipped weapon, thus changing her ability to do this. Select Maeve in the upper left corner of the, of the panel and place one of the uh, available cards in your deck. So, let's just set up shop. Check this out. Uh, I think this is not one. That's the command tent. Uh, that's right. It's... Okay, this is where we change it. Boost an ally by 4, give it 1 armor, then triggers all loyal abilities. We only have 2 of that, I believe, currently. Wait, what? We have some guys that I never see? What the hell? But, yeah, Lyrian's Sightman is the only one loyal right now. Or whatever, what's the other one? Move a card in your deck to the top and strengthen it by 3. And then trigger all allies loyal. What? It just seems straight up better. Well, as long as we have something better than the... Well, one point better than the average value of our cards. I'll just try that. Okay, and maybe, who knows, maybe just make something happen here. Combat tent, training grounds. We can make the first training ground, which enables us to make some cards. Uh, why not? Play the top blitz unit from your deck. That's a blitz unit. It's a four point blitz unit with one charge. Damage unit by the number of cards on this row, including self. Loyal damage a random no a random enemy nearest to self by two. That's not too bad. That's actually pretty good. Yeah, only way that works is if you have a ton of those guys. Yeah, I'm a bit short on gold now. Maybe we can go maybe we'll go for the up. Great. Yeah, we can do Watchtower. Uh, I suppose we don't know what's the requirement for this. The trinkets? Okay. I find this a little confusing. But they all... I suppose I have n yeah, none of them. Lyrian Arbalest. 200. Okay, we can check the cost. I have five. Wait, what? I have five Lyrian Arbalests in the deck. And I can make more. This guy is 150. So this guy is a 10. Uh, when I use my ability, which is pretty good. 
and doesn't have too much of a requirement. You just play it, if it doesn't die, it becomes a 10. This is an 8 on play, but if you have two other units on the same row, it becomes a 10 as well. No, 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 it's actually better. Damage a, a unit by the number of cards on this row, including self. So this is an 8 on play, assuming there are no other units on the row. So And uh, loyal ability gives us plus 2. So the Lyrian Arbalest, assuming... Wait, what the hell is that? Okay. Well, we're gonna check that out. The Lyrian Arbalest, assuming there is something to hit on the enemy side, it's just straight up better uh, than the Lyrian Scythemum. I don't really like this. Maybe this is good. This this could be good. Um, yeah, this is just a row clear tank. It's a bit more situational. Also, uh, extremely expensive. Play a random ally from your graveyard. Uh, only problem that. First round, this is pretty bad. Also, I saw this guy. Spawn to light infantry on the right. War wagon? This is pretty good. Um, so this is a 12 point. On play. Also, if the guys die, then they damage the random enemy by 5. Which is pretty good. But even without that, it's a 12 on play. For 6... For six, which is pretty good. Also synergizes with the Lyrian Arbalest because uh, puts a lot of dudes on the row. Wait, what? Oh, okay. We can't craft a war wagon. We can craft this. We can craft that. I don't care too much about the Vong uh, Wagenburg. Uh, for now, this is just gonna be fine. Probably gonna take out the Wagenburg eventually once we have access to better cards. At this point, it doesn't really matter. Uh, we just gotta ha make do with what we got. Which should be probably enough. What is this? My queen, one of the destroyed graves belonged to an elven mage. We might find something of worth, but we would first need to dedicate sufficient resources to have the debris cleared. Oh, that's the part of a map fragment. Well, we're gonna do it. Oh no, that's part of a card. Oh. I think that's worth it. Oh, that's, that's the reward for killing the Grave Hag. Anything over here? Nope, that's it! You guys are all welcome. Maybe this is what the people in this town were so angry about. Oh no, they seem to be concerned about the dwarf. As they neared Wetterton, the Queen ordered her company to halt. She then sent men to the town for supplies. Those sent returned more quickly than she'd assumed they would. Their satchels empty, their mounts foaming at the mouth. Your Majesty, the townsfolk have gone right mad. Herded all the elves and dwarves at Market Square. Tis a slaughter. The Queen knew well that if she failed to intervene, the town's streets would flow with non-human blood. Just as she knew her meager force might not subdue an enraged crowd. Why not one time, it's the dwarves and the elves of the town who round up all the humans. Intervene and defend the non-humans. Move on without entering Veradon. Now we're gonna defend them. What is your command, your grace? Reynard's question pierced the silence. What can it be, dear friend? Answered the queen, then spurred her mount and rode off towards the town. Her troops followed, running as fast as their legs would carry them. When they passed inside the town gate, they saw corpses lining the gutters. 
Meave realized she had arrived too late to prevent a tragedy. The crowd was drunk on blood. Its rage would need to be quelled with an iron fist. But can we just kill the people? Because that would be a pretty uh, clear uh, stance on how do I feel about this um, action of rounding up all the non-humans. Hmm? Or maybe I need to have more information. Maybe they are all uh, really bad people, but I don't think so. Oh, we're gonna fight the townspeople. Special rules again? Step away, or see your heads bounce down the cobblestones. Reynard, who started this? I must know. Let me end turn. So much hatred. We must put a stop to it. Got any vettles? Hungry like a wolf, I am. That's right. Oh no, that didn't work. Oh, I think I may have messed up. The depleted order. Move to the other row, but what's the point of that? Every turn until it starts, set this unit's power equal to the number of angry mobs on this row. Okay, I didn't read the whole thing. I, I assume that it... Equal to the lowest angry mob on this row. But that's not the case. The number of. So that really doesn't do us any. Her Majesty good. is. We must strike the largest clusters. Disperse the mob. Yeah, that's obviously not, not gonna work. I gotta think about this. We lost. It was literally 18 versus 25. They didn't have a round because they only get a round if I uh, keep playing. <laughs> Come on, game, stop Step cheating. away or see your heads bounce down the cobblestones. Okay, we got a plan. Reynard, who started this? I must know. Please. So much hatred. We must Let put a stop it. to it. You can try to win them all, but you won't. Yeah, we're not gonna shoot. And these guys are gonna move down. We must trust it. We must strike the largest clusters. Disperse the mob. This God save us! There's killing everyone! Run for your lives! They dispersed them. Happily, Meave restored order without suffering any losses. Reynard then learned that a nobleman's ire had triggered the violence. Ire at having discovered a theft. Suspicion fell on the non-humans he employed. He accused them, they protested, and the row soon engulfed the town. But there's something else, Your Grace. Reynard gestured towards an aged man who stood grieving, his face in his hands. I've witnesses who claim the strays of Sparla are the thieves. Though the tragedy seemed the result of a misunderstanding, justice would have to be served. Those responsible for the slaughter would need to be punished. The question was, how severely? Really? That's the only, uh, only thing to do? Have the instigators hanged. What? Order your men to whip the guilty parties. Huh. 
who are the instigators? Like, how do we really know who was guilty? I don't really feel uh, too good about this because I'm not really that, that judgy myself. Whip the guilty parties. That doesn't seem to do anything. Okay, but this is like what to do with the guilty parties. How do we know for sure in this bloody chaos who are the guilty parties? And I only have the choice of whipping the possibly guilty parties or killing the possibly guilty parties. Hmm. But if I, I guess I'm doing one thing. That I probably should just hang them. Because whipping is just something I do on my uh, free time for fun. So we're gonna hang them. And that leads just. Uh, you know, it's just a message. Uh, don't be a jerk to non humans. Because if I whip the people, they're gonna be mad. They're gonna feel humiliated. And once I'm out the front door. Or the front gate of this uh, town, they're gonna be attacking the non humans again. So that's not gonna do anything. So we're gonna uh, hang them. Your excuses I cannot accept, said the queen. The vipers who called for the slaughter, they will hang. The rest. Majesty! A townswoman fell to Meeve's feet. Mercy, please! To a words taken wrong, a misunderstanding. A misunderstanding? To don another's cape. Pay out insufficient change. These are misunderstandings. What happened here was criminal, and you'll be punished as criminals. Uh oh. The condemned were hanged at once, without regard to the protests of kith and kin. Those non humans who had managed to hide and survive made a most generous donation in gold to bolster the Queen's force. I'd like to say Wetterton's small melting pot of races lived on in harmony. Yet alas, I'm not in the habit of propagating untruths. Oh, but this is bad too. Because now, all the humans in this town uh, will never, will never forgive this. In a way, they're probably gonna uh, blame the non-humans for it, mainly because they are vulnerable. They can't blame me, because if they blame me, I'm just going to kill them. So they can't hold the grudge against me. Maybe they're gonna hold the grudge against me, it doesn't really matter. But they can't do anything about me. But they can uh, mess with the non-humans. In a way, I imagine a lot of people will somehow... Uh, just uh, use this as a not really an excuse. Just, just somehow uh, blame this on the non humans. Anyway, I don't think that was a good choice here. <laughs> I didn't like it too much. But this is like a tough question. Because it almost seems like that the uh, humans and the non-humans have uh, big trouble uh, living together and maybe if I was a non-human then I would just really wouldn't put up with this crap. But I wouldn't really want to go on a killing spree. So I, I might just leave. If, uh, but that, but that's, that's not really ideal either. What's up, mister? You hanged good folk today, ma'am. And for what? Because they came to the end of their tether. Oh, there's stuff to pick up there. Well, okay, we might did, might do that. Hmm. No easy choices here, right? Old graveyard? Apparently there's stuff in the corner that we're gonna pick up. Then we leave. Uh, 
Uh, I suppose we're gonna need uh, some guys in the well in the deck, but in the in our group that uh, we can just use early. Uh, that it's not reliant on enemies. So it's not about damaging enemies. That's just that's just building about. Uh, that's just uh, talking about the deck. Okay, let's see where are we. So we can check this out. And this seems a bit like a dead end. Also, we got a puzzle here. Kneel and pay homage to the gods. You shall be rewarded. Melitale watches over us all. Yet you do well to remind her through supplication. Oh, really? There is ever time for prayer. Even as war rages all around. Hmm, gate? I can't open that. Oh, there's even more. Locked item. <laughs> battle. I don't like that. Don't tell me there's a battle there. What the hell, game? Traveling the high road, they heard the bells of a temple to Mother Melitale, situated at some distance. Meave turned towards Reynard. What have we today? A sacred feast? Not that I recall, Your Grace. The Queen's brow darkened, her hands clenched into fists on her reins. Then they sound the alarm. Follow me! Stained glass shards glinted in the grass. Bits of down ripped from quilts wafted through the air. The priestesses, gathered in the yard, were seeing to wounded pilgrims, setting toppled, oft beheaded or armless statues back on their feet. What happened here? The strays of Sparla fell upon us. Sighed the prioress. Stole the offerings, the monstrances, holy books. My lady, I implore you come to our aid, recover what's rightly ours. Ever clever. Meave scouts soon discovered the bandits' tracks. They led to some thick hazel groves east of the temple. The perfect place to hide, or to lie in ambush. It's all come clear now. Sabotage. It was the bandits who weakened the walls. Well, those walls are... not that tall. So... Wait over here these trays of spala they're quite busy oh maybe this is a place where we might find a treasure thing hey woman what's up your majesty turn back there something wicked lurks Oh, I like that. That's all you need to say. <clears throat> also. Okay. We can each enemy to one power. Wow. Return an ally from the battlefield to the hand. Why am I trying to restrain them? So I do have another war wagon in the deck. So we're gonna start with the war wagon you can try to win them all but you won't and turn <clears throat> each Jason so this is gonna give us
Keep calm, Tiberius. I don't have a copy of the War Wagon in the deck. <sighs> My deck has two in it, but this is a special deck. Okay. Can I just restart? Great. Oh, I can't check my deck, can I? Oh yeah. We have two Arbalests in the deck. <clears throat> now, what do we do? So I'm gonna need the war wagon out. Tiny vettles. Hungry like a wolf I am. So at this time, the Arbalest would de would deal four damage. And I have five Arbalists. Oh, this is tricky. Oh, th this is a tricky puzzle. So if I play this, it's four. Then I would need to move two of them away. Play another one. This goes down to one. This is not really something you just... This, this, this is just need to be calculated. So we know the the next two moves. Then I can't move them back because it only happens once. So I would need I would have at the end of it three dudes at in the front and two dudes in the back. Actually, maybe Enter. Oh boy. Okay, let's just try to play it out without a major plan. Give me a target. That's not really how puzzles work, but sure, we're gonna do that. Then we're gonna move them away. Enter. Abolista, your command. So we can move them back. And turn. So I can get two Arbalists out. That would result in six guys on the front row and I should play this on the front row as well actually we have a way to replay one of them this is maybe the time I should do it so we're gonna replay the Arbalest sure I'm a one set and turn, play another Arbalest. Maria! Okay. And turn. Then we gotta play two Arbalest. Time I told you some deck. respect! Play a copy of each adjacent unit from the deck. And the deck is supposed to have. What? No, 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 I, I wanted to go again. Game? My plan was good. My plan was good. All I would have done is that I played an Arbalest, shot the guy in the back. Um. What's up, game? Is something broken? And we're back! Uh, for this fight. Hopefully it's gonna work now. Time I taught you some respect! Yep. 
Armor won't save him. Um, sure. Count Colville, I don't like you. You get shot in the face. And this should be Maria! Here we go. <laughs> Not sure if I have to set them to 1 HP, but I suppose it was a challenge. Hard to justify, but still. Oh, very shiny shields on the on the ground. Oh, actually, I have some money now. Maybe we should go for the extra gold every battle. <clears throat> My lady, a monster has defiled one of our tombs, laid waste to sacred graves, bones litter the floor, and treasures enough to fill our coffers. War is on, your grace. Surely the dead have no need for it, right? What that is that? Find the card! Loot the riches! No further desecration shall befall this place, leave the treasures. No, 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 no. I think we should just take the money. The morale is bad anyway. <laughs> Clearly this game doesn't know me. If I can take the money, I'll take him the money. Your Majesty, <laughs> you return! Yes! Our prayers have been answered! May the mother go- Okay. Let's check it out, maybe uh, do some upgrades. Command tent. Workshop. So if we can go for some money every fight, or some wood every f fight. Command tent. So that's what we got. Now we can pick up that. Workshop. Oh yeah, we can make war wagons if we go for this. Rushing Trap. Forger. Me movement <laughs> on the map by 5%. 15%. That's a boss have, that's what we need. Yeah, there's not much to do here. Oh. Gain one recruit after every battle won. Sure, let's go for the money first. I need the money. Then we're gonna go for the Herald study. That's gonna help long term. And currently it seems like the mission is... Uh, well, the, the fights are fairly easy. Yep, this is what I expected. Chest. Maybe there's a guy in there. Straves of Spala? Congratulations, you've discovered a card that can be used in Gwent multiplayer card games. Okay, sure. But that's also a card that we can put in the deck, right? Um, command tent. What? Isn't this all I have? Okay. We're just gonna exit camp. Screw this. <laughs> oh, give me that. <clears throat> Letter and key found. Time heals all wounds, they say. That memories fade, that the nightmares would end, and my pain would decease. Yet, eight years have passed since I left the world behind, not by prayer, confession, and reflection. I wonder still how my life might have been different had I refused that last smug of ale, had I noticed the child, had I pulled back on the reins more quickly. I prayed for forgiveness once, and I pray only for an end. May it come swiftly. Why do you have a key there? Oh! Did you kill himself? Well, I'm taking your money. You should have just let the, left the money on the road. It was not that serious about uh, ending it, if we were saving hundreds of uh, gold. Wait, what? Oh, 
Oh, there's some loot there. Oh, Strays of Spala, right? The bandits had pitched mm -hmm. camp in a nearby wood. Spirits buoyed by the wine they'd stolen from the cloister cellar, the brigands had not posted sentries. Another round! To the sisters! <laughs> <laughs> Neve's soldiers were eager, insistent. The desecrators would be punished. Yet only the queen could order the assault. Obviously, I'm ordering an assault. Is that a choice? No, High we're doing it. We these strays on a leash. Spat the queen, spurring her horse. Two arms, follow me. Tankards clattered to the ground as the strays reached for their weapons. The brigands would not even fathom giving up without a fight. Oh, that's that's great. That's the way I like it. Prevent free gold wagons from escaping. Why even make a deck? Only have these special uh, missions. I just started battle. Short and battle. I do like these one round battles. At the beginning of a round, you can redraw up to six cards. Get rid of uh, the cards from your hand that you don't wish to play. I want to play every single one of these. Play the top blitz unit from your deck. Maybe not the blitz guys. Especially these have a terrible synergy. Oh, that's no good. Okay, whatever. We're gonna go surround with that. them. So I can use my ability to get a card. <clears throat> Loyal boost unit. This harvest will be reaping black clad heads. Um Con Coldwell is okay, I suppose. Let's go and get Count Coldwell. Wait, what does he do? Oh, he only moves to the top? Well, that's still not bad. Yeah, end turn. But I see by the other one. Uh, it's actually pretty good. Summon all copies of this unit. I wanna get rid of this on the deck. For Rivia! But most of all. Eh, I don't know. What you looking at? This would need a big commitment. Oh. Play a random ally from your graveyard. Mm. This is not really uh I can just keep putting it at the top. Oh, I should have uh, done something differently. Again and again and again. Thing about slings, they hide well. Uh, I was afraid of that. I kind of wanted to play the field medic earlier. Oh, so 17. Wait, what? That's a blitz unit? No, don't do that. A lesson in humility coming now. Army's wasted time for one like me. Not quite what I wanted. I didn't realize that was a blitz unit. Tell me you jest. 
Oh, that's so bad. That is not to reason why. See if he's had any coin in his pockets. Or his holes. Mm. Wait, why is he marked? <clears throat> okay, I guess he marked it. So this happens every time. Left, right, left, right. Mm. Let's go with that. Hey. Oh, that hurt. Fuck, that's a blitz in it too. Charge. I don't have anything with charges now. We must trust each other. Oh, I do. But that's not gonna work. Oh, that's a blitz unit as well? Fuck. I need to know what <laughs> blitz units. Uh sure. Seems like everything is a blitz unit. Fine. One bolt all I need. Give me a time. I can't pass, I need to play one card. Let's play this guy. There's a time to reap, a time to sow. Rem these guys are pretty good. You might have got away had you not been hauling so damn much. Now we gotta pass. <clears throat> the mist's gonna pass me those lovely earrings. Or do I tear them off myself? He really wants to win this. What? Oh my god, no. This is a shortened battle. Fuck. <laughs> Boosting it by 10. I guess that's good. That's actually not that great. These guys are pretty good. Oh crap. I'm surprised. These are not that good in the long ground, I guess. That could be good. But then we would need to have more war wagons. Maybe we have some in the deck. I don't know. This should be okay. The thing is we have blitz units in the deck. The two power ones that summon the other ones. Wait, why is this? Oh, that's not a blitz unit. But most units are. Fine, whatever. Surround Let's go them. with that. So, problem with the Wagenburg is that this is probably gonna get killed. Maybe I should have a guy. My spirit's willing and how the these damn boots are killing me. Yeah, sure. This is actually really good. Charge one. Fine. Okay. <clears throat> what is that? What's the two turns? Escape. Plunder filled wagon. Is that my goal? Oh, I, I need to prevent free wagons from escaping. 
So I can just play a guy. Actually, I want to get all the loyals out as soon as possible because those will generate me value. But I also want the Wagenburg down. So let's do that. Looking to dance, mate. Yeah, the Wagenburg is just bad. Yeah, we can't hit that. Laria! If it's on rule with fire, then Joe Young's about five. Okay. I don't know. Blitz unit. Okay, they both. They both triggered, which is pretty good. I think the other power is the one we're gonna go with. So one bag. Or is it regroup? We may wanna kill that. There's a pretty good, a <laughs> well, pretty good idea. So, but to do that. We need to put down this war wagon. You can try to win them all, but you won't. Then you even have to hold. You might have got away had you not been hauling so damn much. I think he targeted the same guy. Two turns. Okay, let's just put it there. One vote's all I need. Yeah, good end turn. Now, ever have a stone knock out one of your No! That's no good. Damn. So we have time to kill the horse thief. Yeah, we can move this to the other row, but we don't want to. This is so bad because now... Oh, Arbalest. I kind of need to play the drummer. So we still have time to kill that. Oil. Now, the last row would be a good target for Count Coldwell now, but I would prefer to bring out my uh, Lyrian Arbalest if I can. Give me a target. Okay, let's just try to work on the. Oh, fuck, the wagon. The mist's gonna away. pass me those lovely earrings, or do I tear them off myself? He really wants the Lyrian Sightman. targeting the same big unit. Uh, will I let it happen? If I could randomly kill the horse thief, that would be epic. And the chance is not that bad. The problem is that I can't get out uh, the the rest of the arbalests because I kind of need that to kill the wagon. I can get out the wagon to make the arbalest better. 
Well, at least in the back. If I play it in the front, it's gonna be too much. I should probably play the drummer in the back. Left, right, left, right. And we're gonna mave. I keep boosting this guy. At least he can't target it. Yeah, I'm gonna... Oh, this is good. We got lucky. But the sightman is getting stronger and stronger. RNG! So we gotta take out that wagon. Okay. Oh boy. Larry incitement. I'm a little bit tempted to just get out an archer and shoot my own guy. Because he has actually no, never mind that. Uh, we can mess mess that up. But that's not a problem. We just only need to take out the horse thief. And we don't have to do it right now. If we could shoot down the wagon... With a bit of RNG... Uh, that would be great. So this only happens once. We might as well play another drummer here. Uh, over here. Again and again and again. Now do I want to play the drummer's ability? Because we have a lot of blitz units. These are all blitz. That's blitz 2. Uh, that's not blitz, but that's, that's blitz 2. Only happens once. If you get an archer, that could be awkward. So much RNG here. It's it's kind of hard to calculate this. We can play this later once we already played the Arbalists. I feel like that could be a better choice. However, it might get uh, shot down. But we need the Arbalest to shoot, shoot, shoot down the wagon. And, uh, yeah. Okay, we're not gonna do anything. We got a job to do. <clears throat> uh, I don't really mind that much. Oh, I can't play it there. Oh, that kind of limits my plays. What if I move it to the? Ah. Uh... <sighs> oh. I'm a little bit tempted to shoot my own guy. I don't know, let's do that. A lesson in humility coming now. Thing is, I kind of need to play them both on the first row. Abolista, your command. Now, killing that guy seems okay, but I also need to kill the horse thief. Oh boy! So we're gonna. Switch power. If we don't kill the horse thief, we don't have to worry about the infiltrator. But can we... I don't think I need to care too much about that massive point swing, but still something we can uh, survive. I can just do damage to him and just let that happen. And after we fill the first row, 
We don't have to worry about too much. I think we gotta go with that. That sucks, but this is what we're gonna go with. I'm a boss. Okay. Now uh, we're gonna get out, guys. Oh yeah, that's actually. The Army's a waste of time for one like me. Yeah, I'll just get out more guys. Charge of everybody. Huh. So many guys. We must trust each other. Why? There's a time to reap, a time to sow, and a time to die. We don't even have space. Ours is not to reason why. The only problem here is that my life is based on RNG. Doesn't matter. We managed to RNG in kill the wagon. Oh, he has another one. That bit the white of an eye from half a league away. And that's it. We can't do it. I don't have another archer. Is our archer dead? Oh, we don't... We can't do it. Maybe he doesn't have time to run away? Bigger they are, easier they are to target. I think he does. Now we won! We only need to take out one wagon. Sure. That was a bit weird. But we got him. The Queen's company defeated <laughs> the bandits and recovered the loot. We got Silver the loot. chalices. Reliquaries lined with mother of pearl. Gold embroidered robes. The priestesses would be grateful to have their treasures returned, Your Grace. They would pray ardently for your victory. Reynard opined. Yet, you could also keep the silver, expend it on the war effort. And who's to say which, prayer or coin, would be more useful? Well... <clears throat> we gotta... G take, take a quick look on the treasure. And I'll decide. We gotta keep the loot. Order the treasure to be returned to the cloister? That's just stupid! Why do you need to hoard gold and treasure if you're a part of a cloister? I don't get it. We're gonna keep the loot and use it as God wants us to use it. How about that? Melita Lay will understand. <laughs> Neve answered after a moment's consideration. Then she ordered the Abbey's treasures loaded onto her wagons. As they went on their way over uneven ground, each clink and clank reminded the queen that to save her realm, she had stolen from the gods. I didn't steal from the gods. I liberated treasure from bandits. How about that? If I was not here, this treasure would be not only lost, but would be used to further terrorize the land. And we're doing the exact opposite with it. Sure, you can bind a rabid dog, tie his four legs together, but you'll not stop him from lashing out and biting. Sure. Damn, can I just go away? <clears throat> My dear strays, once you've uh, relieved the pious priestesses of their unnecessary baubles, make your way south to the estate of Lord Clayton. Uh, words got round, he raised quite the sum for the dowry of his not so comely daughter. But can love truly be built upon a mound of coin? I think not. Let's save the poor lad from an unhappy marriage, shall we? Your Duke of Dogs, Earl of Mutts, High King of Huckleberries, His Trappy Highness, His Sporky Lordship. I like this guy! Can I be him? If, if I was one in the story, I would be one the guy, one who robs everybody. Wait, maybe not. 
maybe not everybody, but most people. Anyway, <clears throat> uh, that's it for now. Thanks for watching, guys, and see you next time.